So in this video, I want to talk about the Akashic Records of the Mastered a Magic Instructor, which came out in April of 2017 with 12 episodes based on a light novel with a subbed and dubbed currently, and I always say currently because you never know when it will get taken off the streaming platform, on Crunchyroll. Now, the thing about these series that I want to talk about before I review the actual anime itself is that these are always used as source material sellers. And what frustrates me is when they use the source material sellers and then there's no legal English translation of the light novels. Now, of course, I'm sure I'll get one commenter in there going, well, actually, there's a manga and it's got 16 volumes. Yeah, and it doesn't complete the series. And it stopped at that point back in 2023 for the English release and then, of course, 2021 for the Japanese release and there are 24 volumes of the light novel so clearly there is ample enough material for the manga to cover and there's ample enough material for the anime to cover if it wanted to do a second season it just frustrates me because they always use this as a source material seller it's like okay that's fine but give me a light novel like translation for the English at least a legal one. I mean, at that point, you have to go find a fan translation, and sometimes that can be either really hard, or it's just, like, chat GPT style at this point, or just some form of, like, bot, where they just run it through, like, a Google Translator, if you're kind of looking back at, like, four, six years ago. But in this case, yeah, it's just frustrating. Now, as far as source material goes, this season of 12 episodes only covered five volumes because I looked on the fan wiki, kind of looked at what the covers were, and I could tell very quickly with some of the images as well, it only covered five volumes, which kind of reinforces my opinion on the anime that I felt like the anime was very rushed, like, and not in the sense of, like, bad animations or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's as what you expect as far as animation and, like, combat and art style goes but what i mean by that is pacing like pacing felt very 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 fast like everything just happened really quickly like every like it's based on the calculations it's 2.4 episodes per volume if you do like a basic divide and i'm just like that's a lot to condense one volume into just two and a bit episodes and jam it in and be like all right that's the next arc done that's the next arc done that's the next and it's always just like very quick it's like oh disaster over next one disaster over next one disaster over next one and i feel like it could have dealt with a little bit more slower pacing maybe an extra two episodes at most could have maybe paced it a little bit better but even then you got five volumes and you added two extra episodes you're really spreading a little bit it just some of those arcs could have used a little bit more breathing space again i'm not asking for padding i'm asking for breathing space and of course with it being as fast paced and as going through the source material as quickly as possible it's going to have a clearly cut content it's going to be cutting chapters character conversations monologuing not that monologuing is the most important thing but there'd probably also be a lot of world building and explaining why characters are doing what they're doing and what the overarching story is so it does feel like it is very fast paced on that end but i still really enjoyed the anime don't get me wrong i actually genuinely really enjoyed the anime as a whole and it made me want to actually read the line just mainly because i like the characters they're just kind of funny and charismatic in their own way even though they can be kind of very cliche and that's the thing just because something's cliche doesn't make it bad but a lot of people use cliche as a negative thing but with me if you know the channel well enough i don't like to use cliche as a negative i like to be very clear if it is a positive or a negative and give the context of why it could be or not and in this case yeah it's cliche but in a good way it's just fun it has its own little sort of charismatic charm to the characters and especially the main protagonist because it's not just a generic copy-paste kind of protagonist. And in these kind of animes, you kind of expect it to feel almost like an isekai because it is a fantasy magic school setting. Now, I know, yeah, it's not an isekai, but in these kind of cases, they do try to use a lot of the same formulas as isekais, where the main protagonist just feels like a dense doorknob, like self-insert kind of character. But in this case, the main protagonist has a pretty dark and gloomy past, which really impacts on how they perceive the world, perceive magic, and interact with other people, especially when certain characters look like people that he met in the past that had died due to his failing. And that's what I like about it. He's not just a self-insert. 
there's a lot more dimensions to him. And even though, yes, there are cliches, it doesn't take away from the fun of it. Now, if you go way back to when the anime first came out, you had a lot of big anti-tubers out there, some that have kind of disappeared into the void, that really hated this series and really beated this series down. But I feel like that was just because it was popular to hate. And that's the thing about anime back in 2017, because it was getting popular, anti-tubers were getting quite popular as well, and some of those realized that they could make a lot of money from making videos based on just hating popular series. And so they would, they would weaponize a part of the anime community that is very toxic and be like, yeah, let's hate this series. But I don't think it deserves to hate. Again, it's not for everyone. It is that action fantasy magic school setting where, yes, there's a bunch of characters that are in love with the main protagonist. Not that many, so I wouldn't really call it a harem unless you really want to push certain characters, but it isn't really that. It's more about the fact that some of these characters have that kind of sundere memory, like memory kind of past connection, like they're kind of childhood, for it, but they're not. You get what I mean by like the princess has a past with the main protagonist because they kind of use those notes of like, oh, like they're not childhood friends, but it's a similar kind of concept of they have a past with each other. And so that's the thing. I, I like how they do try to take things a little bit different, but I think what makes it stand out to me and what I enjoy is just the magical nature of it, the mysteriousness of the island, and it doesn't try and, like, explain everything in one go. Now, of course, me talking about the light novels and the anime difference, there could be some world building missing, but I don't feel like it would have just dumped all the answers on your lap. I think it would have added some more of why people want to go up there, what potentially could be up there, what other things on the world are, different factions, because at the end of season one, the... The chick that he's been freeloading off talks about going into some dungeon. They could have explained more about that and more of the school and some of the other characters and their objectives. And some of those students are got some interesting hooks to them that I feel like could have been delved in a little bit more. And especially with his teaching, they could have probably gone into a little bit more of the day-to-day -day life of teaching and stuff and how he's grown because he definitely changes very quickly. He goes from an absolute bum to actually caring. And so, yeah. I like it. I think it's a good solid series, but I really don't think it's for everyone. And I think if you look back to 2017 when it came out and how people really beat this series down heavily with a stick, I can definitely see that some people still to this day wouldn't like it. Just because, yeah, if you look at the uniforms, <laughs> there are definitely some thoughts that went into that character design but to be honest I never really looked at that when I look at the anime I kind of just look at more of the characters and maybe I'm just so used to it now that I don't really look at the outfits and so a lot of people that do go into those animes will look at the outfits and go oh yeah it's, it's there for fans yes there is some fan service yes there's some cliche romance aspects again I mentioned all that but I think there is a bit of charm to it that's just as I like to call it, junk food. It's a good junk food style anime where you can just sit there, turn your brain off, and just enjoy the spectacle, enjoy the fun. That's what I like about it. But I would love to actually read the light novels and get more depth in it. But as far as the season two goes, yeah, it's, it's probably never going to happen unless they try and use it as a source material, like a re-promotion. Because now that the story has come to a conclusion, which I... I didn't mention at the start of the video, but yeah, Volume 24 came out in 2003, uh, 2023 of November, so that's the final volume. The story's finished now, and the anime only covered five volumes, so there's a lot of material to do a multitude of seasons, and I would love to see a second season. Just at least cover up to Volume 10 or something, and give us a little bit more meat and potato to make us want to invest in it, and then give us an English translation. I think that would be great, and I do think there is a possibility of that, talking about it in 2024 now, but if it wasn't to happen in the coming years, then it would be one of those where it'd be like, yeah, okay, it's never going to probably happen, which is a high probability, but there's also a high probability that it could get another season to re-promote the source material, but that's just my opinion. I'd love to see a second season just to trigger people that really hate the series, but as I always say to people, don't take a content creator's opinion as a deciding factor whether you should like or dislike something. Because that's one thing I think really hurt this anime, is too many people hated the series because they got told that they had to hate it because another anti-tuber told them to. Don't be scared to enjoy trash. 
We all like trash in some degree. It's just some of us are more open about it and some of them are closets. They don't want to admit it, but they love their trash and they just don't want to be shamed on it because there's this whole elitist attitude that you can only like certain animes that do certain things. But at the end of the day, those people like trash just as much as we do. They just don't want to admit it. So again, love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of this anime? And again, I will continue to do more anime reviews as the weeks go on and months. So definitely stay tuned for more anime content. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.